What up, YouTube? It's your boy, P-H-A-T, Fat Daddy, Fat Outdoors, and we out here at Lake Menden drinking a little mate, so I'm just going to show you what I do with it and what it is. It's a yerba, I should say, but yeah, let, let's get into this, get some water started, and, and, and talk about mate for a little bit. of you guys been asking um what is it that i drink you know you know when you guys see me with the the mate um and the bombilla you guys ask me what do i drink a lot of guys got kooksas because they drink coffee and whatnot um i'm just not a coffee drinker coffee has never agreed with me so what i drink is is yerba mate so i'm gonna make up some mate this morning got my little firebox nano i tell you what man i am enjoying this firebox nano it is just um the best it, it's so compact and that's what i like about it it is just so nice and easy to use so with the trangia you know out here at lake minden you really can't have open fires unless it's in a barbecue pit so this little firebox nano works perfectly with the trangia worked great the other day at the lake it's just so portable fits in the fire kit I, I just really enjoy it. See, like I was saying, I enjoy it with the Trangia. I already got the Trangia full. Yellow heat, that's what I like to use. It burns clean, burns hot. Lights real easy, especially on cold days like today. I was struggling with um, regular Esposporo, Esposporo, I don't know how you say it, Esposporo alcohol. I was struggling, but um, with this yellow heat, psh, man, it, it lights real real easy so that's what i like like the firebox put the trangia right in there just like that and once you get it like that you're ready to go we ready to have some mate that's typical as soon as i start cooking i get a bite so let's see if he's there Got that jingle bell. Uh, I don't know if he's there anymore. It's probably a little one. No, it looks like it's gone. We're getting a bite though. So, first Lake Minden bite of 2019. Can't complain about that. That's breakfast right there, a little ribeye. But what I'm trying to find right now, don't tell me I forgot it. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> That looks crazy. People probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, I tickle myself. Mate, that's what we're talking about before I got a bite and got all interrupted and distracted. Um, what is mate? Some people call it a tea. Um, it's, it's not a tea per se. It, so it's, it's actually tree leaves and branches. That's what it is. It's it, it, it's tree leaves and branches. It comes from Argentina. Um, they say it's got a lot of, you know, medicinal properties, things like that. A lot of antioxidants um, and whatnot. All I know is that it's real good. It, it doesn't give me jitters. It, it gives me good clarity of thought. Um, 
it doesn't keep me up at night I could drink this at night if I want to to relax and and then I'll you know I have some you know alertness but I can still go to bed so uh, that, that's why I like it coffee you know I, I drink it on occasion but mainly most of the time it, it irritates my stomach um, yeah so uh, that, that's what we're working with just put a little mate in the well I should say put a little yerba in the mate the mate is the thing that I put it in so put a little yerba in the mate this um, mate I, I've had for about two years I got it um, from Argentina um, ordered it online Amazon I believe it was um, or eBay one of the two Amazon Amazon ordered online at Amazon and um, got this little bombilla you can see it says mate on it so I kind of like that I, you know you got you got to have trinkets you got to have the gear whatnot so yeah let's get this mate going boil some water and get back to fishing hopefully we catch one I don't know why I let that last one go but All right, here's a cool little piece of kit that I got from crossedblessed.com or crossedblessed.org. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. I found him on Instagram, really nice guy, but um, he made me a jumbo ferro rod. Um, it's half inch, it's a big old thick one, heavy one, and it's got a fat wood handle with a leather lanyard. So man, I was really impressed by this. This is the first time I'm using it. It's even got a little thumb rest right there. This is the first time I'm using it. So we're going to try to fire this up and see what happens. GoPro start video. Yeah, I'd love to have it. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Well, that was really cool. Um, the, one of the groundsmen, I guess he found some tackle and um, a bunch of little leaders with some little beads. Looks like some two odd hooks on it. Um, yeah, so he gave me those so hey, that's going in a tackle box. That's excellent. Excellent All right, so this is the first time that um, I I'm using it. So we're gonna try and see if we can get this yellow heat started Let's want to make sure it'll throw a spark kind of scrape off that paint. Let's take a look see no, I'm crazy Yeah, there we go All right, we got some heat Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> that was a good spark, man. I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, fat wood handle. Oh, smells delicious. Um, yeah, so hopefully this will last for years. I'm really impressed, really excited. Yeah, new feral rod. That's cool. do is you want to hydrate the mate with cool water. We're not going to bring the water to a boil. We're basically going to bring the water to about 170 degrees. You don't want to go any higher than that. So right when we see a bunch of little bubbles in the water, that's when we're going to pour it into the thermos or whatever you got. It's a little windy out here, so I put up the windscreen. Take about three, four minutes to get the sauna almost boiled. mate water again you don't bring it to a boil as soon as I see it steaming like that I just peek and check and as you can see maybe I can bring you in see them little bubbles that's about perfect so we're getting ready to pour this into the thermos There we go.
That's it, man. You're a Monte. That's good stuff. I gotta slurp it. That's the rule. Gotta slurp it. Finish it. Now, what's cool is that in Argentina, um, mate is like a communal thing. It's like a community thing. So, um, what they'll do is they'll fill it up like that and you'll drink it. You'll talk, have conversation. It's their coffee. So, like you would go to a coffee shop and, you know, you hang out and you sip your coffee, your espresso, your lattes, your mates, or mates, your lattes and your frappuccinos and all that stuff and you have conversation. They do it over one gourd. Here in our country, you know, um, we're all so scared about germs and germaphobes and everything else. But um, they'll pass it around. So they'll pass it around in a mate circle is what they call it. And so they'll pass it around and um, enjoy mate. One person controls the water and controls the gourd. And fills it up. See them little bubbles? I don't know if you could see that. See them little bubbles? And then you, you pass it around and share it with somebody. And you talk and you enjoy it. And as it, as it steeps, it's, it's, it's filtering. So I showed you the bombilla. The bombilla filters it so the leaves and stuff don't ever get in your mouth. And it, it's just a good drink, man. It, it, it hits you quick. <laughs> Get you hopped up and it gives you mental clarity and I just really enjoy it. I drink it every day. Every day I drink a mate gourd. And so I'll drink this um, at work. I'll drink it on vacation. Yeah, I, I just enjoy it every morning before sermon prep. Um, I'm always drinking mate. It, it kind of freaks people out. They look at it. What is that? What is that in there? Um, yeah, I remember the first time I saw mate. Um, I think I shared this story before, but we were in Mexico, me and my wife, and um, I kept seeing these guys, you know, passing this thing around. And look, I mean, it looks kind of strange. It looks like a bong or a pipe or something, or something when you first see it. And they were passing it around, and he, he was filling it up, and they're talking, and they're laughing and having a good time. And so I was like, I'm going to ask what that is. And my wife was like, don't you do that. Don't you do that. So, yeah, as soon as she left, um, <laughs> what did I do? I went and asked them. And they were like, it's mate. It's mate. It's the drink of our country. It's the drink of our country. It's mate. And so they're like, you want to try it? And I'm like, okay, yeah. And then they showed it to me. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what is that? And they're like, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's like coffee. It's like coffee. And so I was like, okay, let me try it, man. That took me about one, two, three sips. And, and at first, it's an acquired taste, man. It's like hops. When you first taste it, it's nasty. It tastes like, like outdoors. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like grass. It tastes like leaves. It, you think, what do leaves and sticks taste like in a cup? That, that's what it is. And so it, it was kind of nasty. And I was like, whoa, man. But... um. It got me so hopped up. It it had such good caffeine to it. Um, I was like, man, this stuff is great. And so I sat right there on the beach and I ordered this. That's what I did. I sat right there on the beach and ordered it. And by the time I got home, it was in the mailbox. So, yeah, that was my love affair with mate. Started in um, Tulum. Yeah, Mexico. That's where it started. And I, I've been drinking it every day um, ever since. So I, I think actually now it's been about... Um, two and a half years yeah maybe three years as of january actually i think it was three years yeah so three years i've been drinking mate and um loving it yeah so check it out go get some mate i ain't got a kooksa but i got a mate and that's what i hang out with um i don't know if i bore you guys or, or not um just thinking about the channel and whatnot um I never intended the channel to pigeonhole me into one thing, you know. I'm not van life, though I have a camper van. Um, I, I love bushcraft, but I'm, hey, far from, you know, Joe Robinette bushcraft. Um, yeah, I, I, I intend on doing some overnighters, things like that, but um, I, I'm going to share everything, man. I'm going to share what I feel like sharing. Don't get pigeonholed. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, hope you didn't get bored with my mate. That's about all I got to say about the mate. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, Yerba mate, enjoying it. I'm already feeling it, already hopped up. Yeah, it's a good life, good life. And folks, as always, remember this. Get outside, 
enjoy life, and always have a lot of fun at it. P-H-A-T, Fat Outdoors.